Welcome to this video in which we are going to convert a reoccurring decimal uh, into a fraction in its simplest form. And before we start, I want to say that one of you asked me this question on my website, explainingmaths.com. Uh, and you can do the same thing. You can ask me your questions there, but you will also find all the maths topics explained by me. And everything is for free and uh, everything is explained there uh, so you can pass your IGCSE or GCSE maths exam. Now, this is a past paper question. Now, one of you asked me this question on my on the forum of that site, a past paper question. So all uh, the credits go to Cambridge examinations. Now, what does it say? It says express 0 0.123 with those little dots there on the, at the top. Yeah, I'll go back to that in a minute as a fraction in its simplest form. That's also important, simplest form. So at the end, we have to make sure we simplify the fraction. And it's worth three points. OK, so we're expected to do some work for it. Now, those little dots, what do they mean? Yeah, they are important. It means that it doesn't just say 0 0.123. No, it says 0 0.123, 1, 2, 3. It's reoccurring, okay? It just goes on and on and on. It doesn't stop. It never stops. It just goes on and on and on and on. But rather writing down the entire, well, you can't, eh? you just have to continue, continue, continue. Rather than writing down all those numbers, yeah, we put those dots there, okay? Normally, with an ordinary um, decimal, what would you do? You would look at the place value. Eh? If you have to convert it to fractions, you would say tens, hundreds, thousands. So I have 123 thousands. That's what you would normally do, eh? converting decimals into fractions. But that is not what you can do now because you don't just have 123 thousands. No, because you have a reoccurring decimal. Now it goes on. So that would be, or that is too easy. Okay, so that's not what you uh, are expected to do. And again, for three points, that should be an indication that some more work is uh, necessary. Now I'm going to show you the strategy you have to uh, follow to express the reoccurring decimal into a fraction. And what are you trying to do? What are you trying to achieve? You want to get rid of that reoccurring part. Yeah, that's what I'm going to tell you now. Ready? You want to get rid of uh, the reoccurring part. And how do you do that? Well, I'm going to tell you now. The decimal, the reoccurring decimal, um, you're going to give it a letter. Zero. So come on, guys. Yeah. 0 0.123. I'm going to give it a variable and I'm going to say X. Yeah, it equals X. You can say it equals A, B, C, D, Z, doesn't matter. X, that's what I say. Now, listen carefully what I'm going to say now. The next step, you want to get the entire reoccurring part yeah, on the left side of your decimal point. So I want to get the entire reoccurring part on the left side of my decimal point. Now, what is reoccurring? In this particular example question, what is recurring? It is one, two, three. Yeah, it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So the recurring part is one, two, three. And I want to get that on the left side of my decimal point. So I'm just going to put it there now on the left side, 123, it will say then. And then, of course, it will continue point one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right. Now, in order to have done so, by what did I times this number to get 123? So in other words, how many places did I move the decimal point? Well, I moved it one, two, three places. Yeah. Or perhaps you want to look at this bigger number. Yeah. I moved it one, two, three places. So I multiplied it by 10, 100, 1000. So 123 point one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three equals 1000 X. OK, so again, that's a very important uh, step. That's the step you need to understand. You want to get the entire reoccurring part on the left side of your decimal point. And then you're going to make sure that you realize, did I multiply it by 1,000 or by 10 or by 100, depending on the question. And in this case, we multiplied by 1,000. Yeah, we moved the decimal point three steps. So 1,000x equals 123.123123123. Now I said, or I started by saying, we want to get rid of that reoccurring part. And this is now how you can do that. Because if I take this number and I take away that number, then I will have left 123. Look what I'm gonna do. So if I take if I take this number, 123.123, 123, 123, 123, 123, take away 0. 
one to three, 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 then I will have left 123. The decimals are gone now because all these decimals that go on and on and on and on, take away the exact same decimals that go on and on and on and on is zero. So you will have left 123. Fantastic. So those reoccurring decimals are gone. 123. Yeah, what is 123? That is this number. Take away that number. So 1000x, take away x. 1000x, take away x equals 999x. So 123 equals 999x. That, again, is a crucial um step for you to understand. Yeah? So I take away this number by that number, so that I get 123, so that equals 1000x take away x. So 999x, and now we're almost finished, 900, oh, it's still in red, doesn't matter, does it, uh, equals 123, so x equals 123 over 999. Now, go back to the question. It says in its simplest form, so always simplify if you can, and probably you can simplify it, considering it says so. Uh, I see a factor of 3, uh, 999 divided by 3, 333, and 123 divided by 3 is 41. So your final answer is 41 over 333. Hopefully that was useful, okay? I've explained to you now how to convert a recurring decimal into um, a fraction in its simplest form. Yeah, check my site, explainingmaths.com, where you'll find all my videos um, uh, to pass your maths exams, and everything is for free. You can ask me your questions uh, yourself too. And please, guys, like this video and share it if it was useful. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.